Is this thing on? Are we recording right now? Well, whatever. Hey everybody, this is Maury, AKA Jingle Mix Sprinkle Pants. Don't let the name fool you. I'm a very, very well-respected member of the North Pole community. Regardless of what Santa may say because of some pending legal issues that may be going on, and maybe I was put on a temporary probation, AKA restraining order. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I'm here to talk to you about a special offer from the fantasy headliners and Chris Kennedy, who's going to be doing the DFS content a little bit later. We'll get to that little fella later on. Don't worry about him. What I do want to say is that we are going to be giving away one of two options for you, either a free 2021 draft guide from the fantasy headliners or a one month subscription to our MVP Patreon package. Because it has to do with DFS, and that's what the little guy does, that's one of the things we're going to be doing. So all you need to do is make sure that you comment in the comment section of this video of what your favorite Christmas cookie is. Let us know what your favorite Christmas cookie is, and we will pick one winner, and they will have their choice of either a free 2021 draft guide or a one-month free subscription to the MVP package on Patreon. That's the deal. Now, I got to I got to go before the little guy gets back. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Happy Friday, Headliner Nation. Chris Kennedy here with the Fantasy Headliners, and as my buddy more the Jingle McSprinkle Pants of course said earlier, I am going to be giving away a free 2021 draft guide, or a one-month subscription to our MVP tier on Patreon. Now, all you have to do to make sure that you enter to win the contest is comment down below with what your favorite Christmas cookie is. Why Christmas cookies? Well, because I love cookies. I love sweets. I have loved anything that is not healthy for me. So I want to hear what your favorites are down below. I will pick a winner and make sure to reach out to you so that you can pick your prize. Now, Last week, we had a few comments from last week's video about whether or not we'd be doing Monkey Knife Fight again. And I decided to bring it back for the rest of the regular season, at least, just to give you guys another option for DFS. So this week for DFS for Monkey Knife Fight, I want to touch on two separate matchups. Now, make sure first you're going to be looking at the information on your screen because that's how you can get a promo code and try to get a little bit of money back when you sign up for a new account. All you have to do is enter in promo code HEADLINERS and we will match your deposit up to $50. These two matchups here are going to be a more or less three-time multiplier contest. That pretty much just means whatever you buy in for, if you enter $2 or $5 or $10, if we get both of these picks correct, you win that money times three, all right? So the first matchup here is going to be Tom Brady and Matt Ryan. Tom Brady is going up against the Atlanta Falcons. His over-under for this contest is 295 and a half passing yards. The Atlanta Falcons allow over 300 passing yards a game. And with all the weapons that Tampa Bay has, I know they've been a little bit hit or miss on the year, but I do think Brady hits this over of 295 and a half. Going over to the Matt Ryan side of things, that I'm not too sure of. Uh, Tampa Bay has a very underrated defense, especially in their secondary. And Ryan has certainly struggled this season to hit 300 yards in some games. So I think this matchup could give him some trouble, and I think he hits his under of 284 and a half passing yards. So more for Brady, less for Matt Ryan. Going over to the next contest, it's going to be Kirk Cousins and Russell Wilson. Kirk Cousins is 270 and a half passing yards, and going up against the Chicago Bears the last time that they met this season, Cousins threw for 292 passing yards. So I think this is an area where Cousins will succeed and hit that over. Russell Wilson, on the other hand, is going up against the Washington football team, who arguably has one of the best front four lines in football. I mean, this is a defensive line that's just getting a lot of pressure on the quarterback, creating havoc, led by Chase Young, and I think this defense could certainly give Russell Wilson some trouble this week. His over-under is 266 and a half passing yards. He hasn't reached that number in about six or seven weeks so far, so for me, I'm going to take the under on Wilson, the over on Kirk Cousins. That wraps up the monkey knife fight portion of the show. So let's head over to DraftKings and see what kind of picks I like for this week. 
At quarterback, I'm loving Jared Goff. He's only $6,300, so we can save you some money, but he has a phenomenal matchup against arguably the worst pass defense in the NFL in the New York Jets. They allow 300 passing yards per game, a completion rate of 71%, and also a touchdown rate of 5.7% to opposing quarterbacks this year. Goff has a plethora of weapons on offense, including Cam Akers, who was finally unleashed last week. And hopefully, we'll see McVay give him more of a workload to kind of take the pressure off the passing game, open up some more options for guys like Robert Woods and Cooper Cup. The next cheaper option that I'm going to go with here is actually Mitchell Trubisky of the Chicago Bears. He's priced right now at $5,500. And since Trubisky took over from Nick Foles, the starting job three weeks ago, Trubisky has been the quarterback eight, and his teammates, David Montgomery, has been the RB2. And then we have good old Allen Robinson, who's been the wide receiver four. So Mitchell Trubisky has really helped to kind of keep this offense going. And against the Minnesota Vikings, who they're not a terrible defense, but they certainly have given up plenty of fantasy points, uh, averaging about 18 allowed fantasy points to quarterbacks per week. At this price point of 5,500, I absolutely love what Mitchell Trubisky could potentially give us. Heading over to running back, Mr. Jonathan Taylor, a.k.a. the Pit of Misery, a.k.a. Dilly Dilly. Those nicknames, no more. Frank Reich finally decided to give him a workload that he should have been getting all season, and Taylor rewarded fantasy owners across the board. This week, Jonathan Taylor is priced at $7,200. One thing I love about Taylor, he's going up against the Houston Texans. We all saw what David Montgomery did last week to Houston, just imagine what Jonathan Taylor can do, given, he, let's just hope that he gets that same workload. But one thing with Houston is they're giving up 138 rushing yards per game to running backs, and they are ranked bottom three in run defense DVOA in the entire league. This is a team that does give up a lot of big plays on, on defense, and Jonathan Taylor is a big play running back. For somebody his size, he has a great combination of, of speed and strength and I do think that where their implied total right now for Indianapolis is almost 30 points, there's going to be a lot of scoring to go around, and Jonathan Taylor should be able to get his. Now, if you want to go with a cheaper option so that you can spend up for somebody like Jonathan Taylor or even at another position, I'm going to go with 49ers running back Jeff Wilson. As long as Raheem Mostart doesn't play, I love Wilson at this price point of $5,100. He should be able to be the, the lead back for San Francisco if Mostart can't go. And he's going up against the Dallas defense that's almost as bad as the Houston Texans. Dallas is giving up 130 rushing yards per game to opposing running backs, ranked bottom five in run defense DVOA, and they have one of the worst run defense defensive lines in the NFL. So again, 5,100 for Jeff Wilson. He's somebody that should also be able to get some red zone targets, some goal line work. He's a guy that can pretty much do it all for them. Um, and I just think that this is the matchup for him to get it done. Now, make sure you guys are keeping an eye on Mostart's progress throughout the week, because if Mostart does play, I'm probably going to shy away from Jeff Wilson. But if, uh, if Mostart does not go, Wilson's going to be the guy that you want to target. Over to wide receiver. Talked about Jared Goff a little bit earlier. I'm going with his teammate, Bobby Trees here. That's right. Robert Woods at $6,800 has a great matchup against the Jets. Um, I don't care if it's Bryce Hall or somebody else that matches up against him uh, in the secondary. This is a defense that gives up 46 fantasy points per game to opposing wide receivers. Robert Woods, over the last three or four weeks, has had more targets than Cooper Cup, and he really has started to become the go-to guy for Jared Goff. He's priced right now at 6,800, which is a few thousand less than the top-priced guys, so it certainly helps you to free up some money to spend elsewhere if you so desire. So at 6,800, Robert Woods is my higher-priced wide receiver that I'm going to be targeting this week. Lower price guy, somebody who I was on last week, um, but it only came about when Brandon Cooks was not going to be playing. And that is Houston Texans receiver, Chad Hansen. Who? Exactly. Chad Hansen's priced at only $4,200 this week. And over the last two weeks, he's been averaging 15 draft king points per game. This is somebody who's being targeted in the red zone. He's running plenty of routes, about 38 and a half routes per game over the last couple of weeks. And he's seen an average of seven targets per game in those two matchups since being called up from the practice squad. Now, I'm not too worried about if Brandon Cooks is back this week, because even with he and Kiki Kuti, 
you're still going to see Chad Hansen in there as the number three receiver, at least for the next few weeks, most likely. But again, $4,200, Chad Hansen's price is a little bit too good to pass up. Over to tight end, there are a couple of highest price options that I do like this week. Um, first of all is George Kittle. He has been designated to come off of IR this week. Now, if he can get some practice time in and if he's a good to go against Dallas, I absolutely love his matchup. Dallas is allowing 55 receiving yards a game to tight ends and a total seven receiving touchdowns so far on the year to opposing tight ends. We all know what George Kittle can do. He's right there with Travis Kelsey as one of the best tight ends in the league. He gets plenty of red zone targets. And he's not somebody that relies on needing a heavy target share because of what he can do after the run. Now, if for whatever reason George Kittle does not go this week, I'm going to plug in Mark Andrews at 5,500. He's just a couple hundred dollars more than George Kittle at 5,300. And he's just as good of an option because of that touchdown upside that he possesses. For a much lower priced option, I'm going with Jared Cook. Jared Cook has scored a touchdown in each of his last two games. And at $3,400, he's going up against a Chiefs defense that has allowed 10 touchdowns on the year to opposing tight ends to go along with 67 receiving yards per game to them. Now, Cook is somebody who has that touchdown upside. He gets plenty of red zone targets as well. And he's somebody who gets targeted fairly deep down the field. I don't care if it's Taysom Hill or Drew Brees. Jared Cook is a monster of a target and a great price point this week at $3,400. Those are my DraftKings picks of the week, quarterback through tight end. And make sure, you, again, you guys are commenting down below what your favorite Christmas cookie is, and you have a chance to win either a free 2021 draft guide or a free month of MVP tier Patreon, courtesy of myself. Now, Christmas is coming up. Hopefully, we're going to have one more of these videos before Christmas, depending on when we release it because of the day of the week that Christmas falls upon. So if it happens to drop after Christmas, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holiday, whatever holiday you may celebrate. Have fun with your family, have fun with your friends, and just enjoy football. We have some extra games coming up over the next few weeks, especially on Saturdays. So get excited for week 15, and we'll talk to you next week.